technically involved shot this motion capture suit from XN's, no, Boston Dynamics video with the XN suit about scientists trying to kick them and beat them with hockey sticks, all sort of video. We need a 3D model of a robot that can be rigged to our motion capture suit. And that's where Clint come downloaded a robot and it looks like this. Just a gray old robot. First off, we have to match the colors of the real Boston Dynamics robot. It's got all my rubber, my metal, my chrome, my plasmate, all of the limbs. I have to move the anchor point. The 3D robot will work. You have to have it in the correct space in 3D. The entire idea here is that we're trying to recreate exactly what our set was in real life digitally so that way we can actually place the camera also Clint's motion capture data exactly where it was in real life so now that we have a digital set and we have our track camera and a sync camera is moving around on a tripod it's a little bit more challenging but not super hard it's essentially like a jigsaw puzzle of different freeze frames of different empty images so this is what that looks like Clint's proportions don't match up exactly we have to remove anytime anything is occluded bottom here and Clint's foot you can see is directly in front of my leg here. How to create it from scratch using different bits of the leg from other moments in the shot. That's an actual composition of multiple different parts in my field. So now this is the final shot. And throughout the course of this video where we had to recreate different parts that had to be erased and then was having a practical light on set is that we have a clean plate erasing Clint that doesn't actually have the lighting of the scene. Suddenly there's no light in the scene at all. Now I have to actually create a muzzle flap. That ended up being really easy. I the project file for this shot and I placed the light right in front of the robot to capture the shadow. I don't know.